Hey everybody, so in this episode of Cooking with Kishna, we're going to be making conch fried rice. Are you ready? I am. Okay, so let's get started. You will need egg, you need soy sauce, of course, conch, of course, main ingredient, sweet pepper, onions, pre cooked rice, butter, salted butter, cayenne pepper, complete seasoning, and you can use iodine salt. So let's get cracking. First thing, let's crack these eggs and get it whipping. Okay, so our eggs are cracked and I started to whip them already. I'm using organic eggs and I'm using a fork to whip my eggs. You can use a whisk also, but I prefer a fork. And I'm not going to put any seasoning salt or anything in the egg because the soy sauce is really salty. And then you're going to season that conk with salted butter also. So you don't want the dish to be overly seasoned. So that's beaded. Let's get to the next thing. Next, I'm going to do with our main ingredient, which is the conch. And what I need to do first, what you need to do first is because we're cooking along with each other, right? So what we need to do first is wash off the conch so we get all that slime off of the conch. And we're going to cut it up into bits and get it into the chopper to tenderize it. So my conch is now slime free and I'm going to get ready to cut it into bits and tenderize it in the chopper. So now our conch is sliced up. I tried to get it sliced as thin as possible before putting it in the chopper, but this is how you're going to slice it up. Now we're going to put it in the chopper so it can get really tender. Alright, so this is my mini chopper, guys. So you see all the conch is in there. It's this chopper is really tiny, but it really does the job. So we're going to keep... So I'm going to continue doing... I'm going to continue doing this until the conch is really tender. Alright, so look at my conch tenderized. So it's time to get it cooking. Okay, so our conch is in the pan now. And what you're going to do is cook this down in butter with sweet peppers and onions. So we're going to cook it down for about 10 minutes. Because you really don't want the conch to get overcooked. So you just want to cook that down. The sweet peppers and onions and that butter and then you can season it to your liking like i said before i'm using cayenne pepper one of the seasoned salt and maybe a little bit of iodine salt okay so after count has already cooked in that butter you're going to add in the egg and you're going to just cut the eggs really good you don't want it to fry a little too long you want it to stay a little 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 noise um i was supposed to say organic eggs are really light so they're not as heavy as the other eggs and now that the eggs are fried and the conch is cut what we're going to do now is add in our rice so fried rice is made with pre-cooked rice and the best fried rice is made with a one day old fried rice and what you do is you put the rice a day before and then you just put it in the fridge and then you take it out about five minutes before you begin to cook your fried rice because it's going to be really chill like when it comes out of the fridge um so now we're just going to mix all the egg and the conch and mix up with the rice and then we get to our last step Okay, so the last step is to add in our soy sauce and you can put in as much as you want you don't want to put it put too much but i really like the, the, the taste of soy sauce so i'm just going to keep putting that right in there you don't want to put too much because it can get really salty but if you like to see that brown brown color you're going to keep adding it until the color comes in some people like their fried rice light brown and some people like it to see it dark brown and you can you can keep adding soy sauce to change the color um you don't really want to see the plain white rice color so if you see that that means you need to add a bit more soy sauce like mine i can see the white rice i can see the rice is still white so okay okay go come fry rice i like mine stock so i added a lot of 
soy sauce and sometimes when you add it on soy sauce it starts to make the rice look soft so it's up to your liking how you like your fried rice so that's it